In our last episode, we dropped Kadoa's hook in the beautiful anchorage of Bream Cove, where we explored the luscious surrounding both above as well as below the water. But with several large storms heading our way, it was time to move Kadoa to a more protected spot, here amidst the idyllic Cornish countryside. Check that out. This is a pretty awesome spot. In fact, anywhere up the River Fowl where you can actually get to shore to walk your dog or just go for a walk, uh, officially, where you're officially allowed, not on private land, uh, offer you some of the most amazing walks you'll find in the entire West Country. You've got that sort of perfect mix of both coastal walks and forest retreats. And we're at this point very much in the thick of an oak forest and there's wildlife everywhere. There's, there's a heron that I'm looking at just here, but this lens sadly won't be able to pick that up. But you could just, you could just sit somewhere like this for hours watching the world go by and it wouldn't be a wasted day. All right, we're just, just positioning those panels to try and harvest as much power as we can to some juice back in the banks. We haven't seen that great big ball of fire in the sky for what seems like what a while now. Um, we've been hit by not one but two gale force storms so far and we've got a third one on our way and the third one's going to be the biggest yet. We're going to be having probably gusts in the 60 knot range which is going to be all kinds of fun. Now the river fowl where we are right this second as you can see is not only beautiful but it's afforded us amazing protection from all the different winds that have hit us so far. The next storm that's going to hit is going to be uh, the strongest so far. If we move to find cover from all the different wind directions that are predicted to hit us that's not necessarily the difficult part. The difficult part is all those places that look sheltered enough don't have anywhere we can easily take hang to shore. It's all surrounded by private land and, and whatnot, or at low tide it's really difficult to get to because there's big mud banks. And so we haven't quite solved that problem. Uh, the next thing we need to figure out is the third storm that's coming our way, and this one seems to be the trickiest of all of them. It's a big one. That's a big one. Okay, all right, so what are we thinking? Uh, well, there doesn't look like there's a break in the weather to move from where we are, so I think we're, oh, we're going to be up in the river still, okay. but because this switches from that way mm -hmm. to that way... Um, so we're going from southeasterly to southwesterly, and then it's going to come right round to quite a strong westerly, isn't it? I think, yeah. And then we yeah. got that, and we are currently just here. Um, so, but before that, we've also got some strong southerlies. So this may create a wind against tide down here, and. We also need to think about getting hanked to shore in amongst all of this, so mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to find a good spot to shelter from all of those. And in the calm before the storm, we weren't the only ones heading upriver to take refuge. Frankie the mad scientist is arriving in the Batcat. That crazy son of a gun has literally left Itchin yesterday and just beat it all the way down here in the Batcat in some horrendous conditions. And he's got here just in time to salvage a little bit of summer. He's been away. And he's just here in time for a mega storm to come and give us all a kick in the teeth. <laughs> I can't believe it. Who is it, Hank? Oh, get up. Bye, good to see you, dude. Is there next? Who's your next? I've got maple syrup and avocados. Yeah. <laughs> and as the last of the warm, late summer sun began to fade, it was swiftly replaced by the start of our third storm in a week. As the rain poured down, life aboard Kadoa was comfortable and warm, whilst Carly got to work on her latest creation, our 2024 Anchorage's calendar. That calendar that you see Carly working on there, here it is. I decided to have a very quick interjection because uh, our amazing patrons and our friends and family have pretty much <laughs> cleared us out. We've, we've only got a few left, but this is our 2024 calendar. And uh, this actually has like all the different anchorages that we sort of stayed in, all the different places that we love. Uh, there's little bits of information about wind direction, what the sand bed was like, so on and so forth. Uh, so if, if this looks like something that you would like, there's, there's literally only about 20 left, or if you think that might make a nice stocking filler for somebody, it is the festive season after all, then check the link in the description, head to our Etsy shop and grab the very last few that are there. Uh, sorry we didn't get more made. Uh, we didn't expect it to be quite this popular, but there's a handful left. If you think that'll make somebody a nice gift, then go grab them. All right, anyway, this storm, gets a little bit worse. The wind has shifted. Whoa. And so the angle's changed. I don't think we've dragged anchor at all, but... Now the wind has shifted round, it's stretched us right out and we're really close to some of these moored boats now. It's about four o'clock in the morning. I don't much fancy picking the anchor up and moving. But one of us is gonna have to keep a keen anchor watch. To take it in turns. Oh, that wind strength has picked right up now as well, so. Right now, so from four in the morning until right now, that wind has been gale force. Um, certainly the gusts. <sighs> Excuse me. I didn't have a lot of sleep, quite a broken night sleeping last night. Lots and lots of anchor watch. Um, I don't think we've dragged at all, but our position relative to the moored boats seems a lot closer. That's because the wind has shifted from sort of west southwest all the way around to almost a southerly, and the southerly has funneled up this river, and that's completely changed our angle compared to these moored boats and made us feel an awful lot closer to them, I think. Um, but the wind is going to be coming back round to more of a westerly direction uh, about. In another couple of hours time, about 10, 11 o'clock, it's due to change. So that will put us back to where we were yesterday relative to these boats. And then again, those trees should offer an awful lot of protection and dampening. So just a couple more hours to go. Ooh. I'm probably going to fall asleep again. I hope you had a better night's sleep than me. You don't want the wind, do you? But 
but so far so good. We've dodged all of the gales and I think there's just one more left to come now and then hopefully have a little bit of end of season good weather. <laughs> That'd be nice.